Hi, I'm about to show you today how to remove the governor on a three and a half horsepower engine. This will be the quickest removing you have ever seen. Okay. Firstly, make sure you move the arm from the governor, which is located on the side. Okay, secondly, you turn it anti-clockwise. Right, now, if you can look at this point. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna hit that with the center punch. Okay, loosen it up a bit. Right. Okay, we need a little topping again. Let's take them out. I always take the cups off to prevent damaging them. Okay. Same again, be careful with the gasket. I don't want to damage the gasket. The knocking might sound a bit too loud, but it's because of the speakers on the recording. Okay, once you take it out, okay. Right, this is where the governor is, okay, now I'm going to show you a small trick. If I can put the back, okay, up to there, and hit the pin with the center punch. Okay, basically, what I'm doing, I have knocked the complete governor out from its socket. As you can see, they didn't need to go inside taking all these out, completely taken out. Now the next thing you do, have a six mil nut and bolt ready. I will prefer to put the not from outside, so you can see if it's getting loose from here. Okay. Okay. Then tighten the nut from outside. Okay, I'm tightening it up. Okay, got the nut from outside so that you can always see if it gets loose, which it shouldn't because it's pretty tight. The gasket, as you can see, is tucked in nicely. Put it aside. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can take the rod out. Okay. Okay, so the safety pin is out, washer is out, could be a little bit stiff sometimes, but just wiggle it about, eventually it comes off. Okay, next thing you do, eight mil bolt, okay, long reaching socket from inside to hold it. And Tighten this up as well. The next thing we do, okay, it's all nice and dry. Okay, there should be a washer there, yes, still there. Good. All right. Okay. And 
what you do make sure you put all the nuts and bolts back on as you take them out reassemble it exactly the same way reverse the procedure well that's all about it put the dipsticks in make sure you fill it up with the oil the governor's off so you got full RPM so I hope you enjoyed it see you on our next video shots